previously on the Omen podcast. Dr. Smedley has informed me that you're going after a vampire. The floor beneath you immediately shifts. Yay! It tips you all forward onto a slippery slope downwards. Not yay! These are a very powerful hallucinogenic mushroom. I'll bag a few. I- I'm eating it now. I'm eating it. You see a bridge across this fast-flowing river. Do you do you see this? This is. Do a... we see this? No one else sees this. It's a bridge. I run across the bridge so fast. Uh, your foot falls out from in front of you, and you fall down into the fast-flowing oh. water below. And everyone else sees herbivore hit the water and then fly down the water as if like the current is carrying him really quickly, uh, and he is gone. When I land on the water, it makes a sound like a didgeridoo. What will happen next? Find out on this exciting episode of Omen. So Lavinia and Annabelle go down this stream uh, and you find yourself sort of buffeted by the water a bit. Uh, You end up eventually washing up uh, in sort of like, like you wash up on sort of like an underground beach. So you're now down deep underground, but it's really warm down here. I have a question. Yeah. When I turn into an octopus, does that like bring all my shit with me into the octopus form or am I an octopus wearing a backpack full of stuff? I'm gonna say the second one. Okay, so basically all my paper stuff is ruined, right? Oh yeah. Like, I, my Helsing book is ruined The Helsing forever. companion is ruined at the minute, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, my phone is never gonna work again. No. Helsing book does have to work because of Paradox. Oh yeah, well the Helsing book, I, I'll, I'll get a new one, uh, yeah. Yeah, he'll get a new one, he'll buy a new one. Um, so, you're all now washed up on this shore. Um, you've got you've got a poor uh, Herb there sort of staring at rocks, like he's picking up these pebbles and sort of staring at them, uh, and he thinks that they're faces. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely pocketing them. <laughs> they are definitely going into my pockets. You've got pockets full of pebbles right now. You can see uh, more of the blood from earlier uh, leading down through a passageway. Is there going to be another river to fall into that way? Because I don't feel like doing that again. You can't hear any... Mo- so you can hear the faint river behind you, but um, you guys have all washed up on this sort of, like, shore here. Uh, so the river sort of has ended here. What did you two jump in the water? To the proper way. I didn't jump. I was pushed by bats. And plot. <laughs> oh, I know what it's like to be pushed by bats. Bats are the worst. Yeah. Oh, that's why I've got so many bat faces here. <laughs> so you guys want to follow the blood? Not really. Reluctantly. <laughs> but I will I will uh, remove my octopus form and uh, pull out my... Uh, crucifix and hold it in front of me the entire time okay so you are walking down this passageway uh, and you've started to notice that the walls and the floor of the cave are coated with this sort of strange organic ichor and it's really dark red in color does it smell bad in here it smells pretty awful it smells kind of like slightly rotted meat i think we've entered someone's throat guys Mm, uh, lavinia might want to roll for observation here I choose to observe. To <laughs> use her, her biology skills. <laughs> yes, I, I once spent a weekend at a uh, echo camp. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes up to the echo on the walls and it's sort of, it's pulsing. Icky echo. Uh, and she hmm. pokes it a little bit. As I learned to do on the camp, yes. Yeah, what would you, what, how, how would you t- tackle understanding this thing, Lavinia? What would, what would... Uh, I would get a little bit between my fingers and rub it and sniff it and maybe do a little tentative bleh, 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 bleh. A little bit of a lick? <laughs> yes. Okay, you recognise that this is sort of like, it's like a sort of nesting stuff. It's oh. like someone has created this. St- it's like, it's like you know, um, Gross. I, I assume like 
in character Martin's probably seen the film Alien. Um, you know what? I think he's missed that one. He's, he's not a one. big fan of horror films. Wow. Okay. Um, so if it's got like scary monsters on the front, he probably avoids it. Okay. Oh, it's just got an egg on the front. He should be fine. Yeah, you like eggs. But it's an ominous egg. <laughs> it's an ominous egg. This organic stuff is being used to bre- like brace the cave so it doesn't collapse. Um, and you can tell that it's it's not very healthy. There's something wrong with it. It's not like you'd expect it to be if you were to see a Ica looking healthy. This isn't healthy looking. I would like to attempt to look up uh, Ica in my ruined Helsing book, Helsing Compendium. All right, could you roll for focus, please? Okay, come on, please don't be ruined this particular page. <laughs> Critical hit! Very nice. Okay, so you know that this is a... So vampires are a colony-based creature. Vampires have a queen, Ooh. they have several patriarchs, uh, and they exist in colonies, and the queen moves between the colonies. The way that it works is the queen produces new genetic material to keep the colony going, and if the queen isn't there then the colony will break down because they aren't getting new DNA. So they're like ants? That's how ants work, right? They're kind of like ants, I guess. They're like weird alien ants. Like They're like an alien ant farm of some kind. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Meanwhile, I've stumbled down the hallway and I'm just whisp- mumbling about how the mushrooms do work. They, they really work. They work really well. Oh, God. And as you walk down the hallway, you come across a blockage. Uh, It's like a thick, fleshy membrane that's, like, plugging the passage. It's very veiny and it appears to have been recently ripped, but it's grown back extraordinarily quickly. Can I observe it? Yeah, sure. I wish to observe. Um, you got a critical failure. Oh, wonderful. So, um, you don't observe anything else about this thing other than that it's kind of gross. Mm. What happens if I put my hand against it? You put your hand against it and you can it, it's kind of slimy uh, and you can press against it and it feels like just like a drum skin. It's like an eardrum. Oh, I headbutt it. You want to headbutt it? I headbutt it. Okay, you headbutt it. Roll strength, please. Ooh, 23. You headbutt it and you rip it in half and it splits open uh, and you're all hit by a really sort of warm air like like really warm did you make the wall fart (laughs) i think i opened up the oven too fast daddy (laughs) so the um entrance to this place is now open so you guys can go into the hive if you wish huh anyone wanna uh, give me their crucifix i could use two um mate if i had a crucifix i could give you all the crucifixes You'd have a crucifix for days. Don't you have garlic bread? No, I gave that to Greg. Oh. Oh, I, I chewed it up in his in his in his stone mouth, and I, it was he fed me like a bird. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go in the oven. So he walks. Uh, <laughs> so I'll I'll just let the drugged guy go first. Yeah. So Herb walks through, and you'll follow him into this hive. From what you read inside the Helsing Compendium, this place should be thriving right now with horrible little vampire larvae, but it's kind of quiet, like unnervingly quiet. Wait, vampire larvae, so vampires don't get like, con- aren't like humans that have been converted? No, nope. or... well sort of. Uh, they grow in humans. Okay. Ah. Uh, so like, they start off as larvae, they grow into humans, uh, and then they sort of watch out for vampire face huggers guys yeah they can rip off the entire top of the head and use it as like a sort of like as an escape um and that's <laughs> what happened to poor omar in the bath well that's terrifying you walk down this corridor uh, this sort of like throat like corridor uh, and you can see these pustules growing on the walls um the pulsing very slowly it's kind of gross uh, and you enter this cavernous space Uh, It's really moist and humid down here. Uh, And from behind a rock, you see what you make out to be a man. And he's crouching behind a rock, and he's looking right at you. I try to stand still so that he doesn't see me. Vampire sight is based on movement, right? No. (laughs) 
No, it's not. <laughs> that that is that is an assumption. That is a wrong assumption. Um, and it's it's just looking right at you. He's not saying anything. He's not saying anything at all. Well, hi there. How you doing? Uh, so he uh, sort of like just looks straight at you. He's like, there's nothing going on. The lights are on, but no one's home, and Mr. Brain has long since departed. In this particular case. Wait, maybe he doesn't speak English. Uh, b- bonjour, Monsieur Vampire. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, does could uh, Lavinia roll for observation? Yes. Nice. So Lavinia realizes that this is this is Omar from the bath. <laughs> this this is this is Omar. Like this is definitely Omar because she remembers it from the case files that Smedley gave her, and. As she realizes that, Omar's like head moves up, and you see these six claw-like fingers come out of the bottom of the head. I leave. Fuck that. They're attached via these sort of gross, thick membranes, and it crawls up the rock and looks directly at you. It opens its mouth, and two long finger-like fangs come out, and it stares at you. And sort of like hisses. Ah, uh, science man has a gun. The science man brain hand has a gun. Uh, he's got two guns. Annabelle, do something. How is this not the Halloween episode? This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to greet it. I'm gonna say hello to it. Give it a chance. I want to throw my crucifix at it. All right. Um. So you say hello. It doesn't do anything. It just sort of hisses again. Uh, do you want to roll for agility, please, um, Andreas? Yes. That's a six. I'm pretty sure I missed. <laughs> yeah, you threw your crucifix and it didn't do anything, but it did enrage it. So it starts to flap. Oh, it's shooting guns! It's shooting bullets everywhere! The fingers flap and this creature becomes airborne and it comes in to attack you. So it attacks Dr. Martin. Go on, shoot it. Do you want to roll for agility? Ooh. Annabelle? Um, plus five. Fifteen. Plus five. Very nice. Okay, so you, just as it's about to hit Martin and it's about to b- bury its fangs into Martin's neck, you shoot it and it explodes and Martin is covered in gunk. Ah! So Martin is now covered in this gross gunk um, and you guys are now still in this room on your own without... Uh, uh, the, what was left of Omar, uh, which, which was actually a vampire's larvae. I think I, I think I got some wet wipes in my purse for you. I'm gonna pull out my prison purse and just start raffling through for some wet wipes, and I just gently, well, gently wipe Doctor Martin's face. Okay. <laughs> and Martin just stares straight ahead into thin air. <laughs> the thousand yard stare of being a tear. Yeah. Hello, everyone. It's Sean. Uh, I just wanted to thank everyone for sharing the podcast on Twitter and on Facebook and wherever else you're sharing it because we just hit 500 downloads and it's great to see that. Uh, Hopefully a thousand downloads won't be too far from that now. If you want to keep supporting the podcast, make sure that you write us a review on iTunes because if you don't, then no one else is going to see this and it means that no one else gets to enjoy me getting stressed out about uh, weird things people choose to do rather than actually following the storyline and that would be a real shame for everyone because I love to get stressed out it's how I thrive as a human being I don't want to keep you too long I want you to get back to enjoying the episode episode 10 of the podcast we hit 10 this is the 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 deck decker decker podcasty one the one that is the deck that that's how you that's how you measure podcasts so um enjoy it see you later have fun bye Lavinia. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you um, notice that there is a passage towards the side of this room uh, with another sort of thin sinewy membrane across it. Uh, you've noticed that. So do you want to go forwards to try and take that? 
out? Do you want to go into that place? Yes, I do. I do want to do that. I want to go away from the scary thing. Sure. Let's go deeper into the vampire hive to, uh, away from these scary things. There's definitely not going to be more of them. Uh, so, no. yeah. So you guys walk up to this other thing. Um, do you want to headbutt? Definitely grab my crucifix before we leave. Good choice. Do you want to um, headbutt this one as well, Herbivore? No. Oh. Or, oh, 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 okay. Let's let's just slice it. Let's okay. be nice. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything with an edge? Uh. I'd imagine that Lavinia has a scalpel of some kind, like a very small scalpel, because mm. like she she likes biology, so she has that to like collect samples. I'm gonna collect a sample of this. I've got a sharp Jesus stick. If anyone needs it. Let's use the scalpel. <laughs> Actually, can I? Once you're done cutting up that thing, can I use the scalpel? Why? I'm sure it could be used to whittle down the end of the crucifix to make a stake, right? Yeah, yeah, it could do. Yeah. Like, very slowly. All right, but... so you cut open this thing. Okay, could you roll creativity, Martin, with this thing? I want to see your whittling skills. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> All right, you make it even blunter. Uh. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow you make this thing even blunter. It's, it's more useless now. Uh, you guys continue forwards, and you end up in a larger cavern uh, and you walk forwards and now you're on sort of like a rocky outcrop in front of a lake. Uh, the lake is very still. It Basically it's mirroring the roof above it so you can see a couple of like stalagmites and stalactites in it uh, and there is a there are a couple of islands floating in the middle of this lake. The ceiling is the same as the floor guys. To your right is a couple of crates filled with uh, mining equipment, so there's still some mining equipment down here. It's covered with the ichor, but you think that you could probably pull it away and get it if you wanted to. Yeah, I would like to get get into that crate and find a miner's helmet with a, like a light on it. Alright, you get that. You get a miner's helmet, um, and you've broken apart these crates, uh, and you're going to need to get across this lake, if possible, to get across to the other side, because you can see a light on the other side emanating out of a small inlet over there guys guys i have got this this when i was a kid we used to go boating every summer go on we'll just use some of this acre we'll water tight we'll make the, the box waterproof Ugh. it'll be gross but it'll work and then we just have like a box shaped boat to go across the lake okay this would be a perfect time for me to introduce a new concept i'm going to have for this which is uh, group moves. So I would want all of you to roll for creativity, uh, and whichever one gets the highest will be the roll that, that, that wins this one. Can I get a bonus for, for my brain? I mean, you're definitely very creative right now. Well, you all rolled three, <laughs> one, two, and three. So, <laughs> flipping hell, you guys. Uh, so um, you try building this raft, uh, and it's it's... It works. You've made this raft, but you can, someone's going to need to push it. Someone's going to need to get into the liquid and push the raft. How many times can I use this octopus thing before it starts breaking? You're fine. It it, it it's pretty it's pretty. Um, you can pretty much use it all the time. Oh, uh, this is say so. Like, first of all, I just want to congratulate everyone on the group effort. This is a great raft. Um, if we were in Britain... Oh no, here it goes. And they gave this raft an award, which I think it very much deserves. We get a rafter. <laughs> I'm so in love with this raft, and with all of you, I just want you to let you know that um, someone's got to push it. I'll push it if you need. Just whatever you need. I'm here for you. I'm here for all of you. Oh god, those mushrooms are powerful. How about you get in this box, and a point of the box? Okay. Go on. The box looks like a coffin! Ah! Please get in the box. Do you immediately jump into it? <laughs> yes. And I shut the lid on the box so we don't have to deal with that. <laughs> the rest of you get on top of this raft and Martin puts on the octopus headset thing. Yeah. The o octopus rift. And um, <laughs> he becomes the octopus and then he puts a tentacle to the liquid and you see the ripple go out uh, and you pull the in, the big raft into the water and more ripples hit the liquid uh, and you pull the tentacle out a little bit and you realize that this isn't water this is like 
really gross bloody water. Hmm. Well, we've gotten this far. I've already gotten covered in gross bloody water. This is so. All right, so you submerge yourself into the goo, <laughs> uh, and it, it's gross. And everyone else is on top of the the um, little raft. Uh, and I want you to roll for um, do, 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 do. agility, please, Martin. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay, I'm going to say you get like a plus three because you're um, because you're the octopus. Not plus eight for every leg, but nice. plus three. You push the raft. Across the water. You guys are, should be so glad you're not down here. Uh... I'm 43 years old. I shouldn't be in a womb again. <laughs> and you get about halfway. You suddenly hear from above a faint rustling, a skittering of sort of insect-like feet. Could you all roll for observation? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, very nice. So so Lavinia gets a critical success there, and so does Dr. Martin. Yay. Uh, whereas Annabelle and Herbivore don't know what the hell's going on. I'm in a box. I have an excuse. So you guys look up. In fact, Lavinia looks up, and, and she's still holding her... She's still got, she's got her mo- mobile phone on her with her um, book on it, and she shines the light from the book, book. up into the um, stalag tights above you. And you see another three of those vampire larvae. They seem to be a little bit better grown. The human face on the back of them has sort of melted away a little bit. And they're just like these insect-like creatures. They're pale, they, they clearly haven't seen the light of day. Uh, and they've got this large mouth part on the bottom. And out of the mouth part, there are these two pointy fangs. Uh, and they then, at that moment in time, start flapping and they come down to attack you all. So can we all please roll for agility? Who broke my rolls today? I would like to speed up the raft, please. <laughs> ah, critical! Okay, so Doc Martin gets a critical critical in agility, so he's going to be pushing this raft forward as quickly as he can. So one of the creatures is going to go. One of the creatures is going to go first. So it comes down and it's going to attack Lavinia. Lavinia, please roll for agility. Okay. Okay, so Lavinia, with her powers of observation, especially because she's just seen them coming, she manages to duck out of the way. Uh, And this thing comes down and tries to take a slash at her, but it's not able to. And it flies around, and two of them come at uh, Annabelle, who is now in the uh, middle of the raft. So Annabelle, could you roll agility for me? Do you want to shoot at the same time as doing this? Yes! Alright, so you get a plus five because of your guns. So you shoot at both of these creatures and they blow up in midair as they come towards you. And I assume like you do a cool like flick with your gun and blow on the end of it or something. Yeah. <laughs> do a one-liner! Do a one-liner! Ah! Uh, I wasn't prepared for this. That can be your one-liner. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not prepared at all. Moving on. Okay. So um, the final one of these creatures is going to come down and it's going to try and attack uh, Dr. Benson in the water. Could you please roll agility, Dr. Benson? Uh, Another one, okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. So this thing comes and it slices at you uh, and it hits one of your arms. Ow! One of my eight tentacles! I mean arms! Uh, And it causes you one damage from that. Uh, and then it flies up into the air again. Uh, could uh, I think it's Lavinia's turn now? So Lavinia, what do you want to do with this thing attacking you and flying around? Hide and run away. Hide and run away. Well, you're on the you're in the middle of this like raft in the middle of the uh, water. It'd be difficult to hide. Can I jump in the water? Oh, it's blood water, isn't it? It is blood water. You probably don't want to do that. <laughs> this thing's getting closer to you. It's like flying towards you. Uh, you do have the scalpel, so you could use that. No, uh, actually, um, what is it? Uh, Martin has the scalpel. He used it to try to sharpen the crucifix. I mean, I would have given it back. I'm going to say give it back. Okay, well, uh, hey, I scalpel, and I would like to use it to slice. Okay, can I see their ankle? Uh, they have ankles. It, it's got six sinewy, like, insect-like legs but it has wings what are the wings like tell me about the wings okay so the wings are so it, its legs are its wings it's got six pointy long like leg finger things gross uh, and between them are like thin membranes that allow it to fly 
I'm gonna slice the membrane. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, roll, roll for agility. Uh, you roll a two. Uh, so this thing is gonna come in and it uh, attacks you. Uh, it rears back as you try and sw slice at it and it's gonna spit at you uh, and it spits this sort of gross gunk at your face. Uh, so you can roll to dodge that. Okay. Uh, you do not dodge it, unfortunately. And it's going to hit you for three damage because this stuff is like a horrible gunk and it makes you blind for a little while. So you're temporarily blind, hmm. unfortunately. Okay. So this thing is flapping around. It's now um, Herbivore's turn. He's still inside the box. What do you want to do, Herbivore? I'm sleeping. What? I'm sleeping in a... Oh, you're sleeping off the drugs. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, could you roll for uh, focus, please? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Rude. Ooh, critical thing. Okay, so um, you are sleeping uh, and trying to sleep this stuff off, but you have a bad trip. So you're inside this box, uh, it's really dark, and you can feel the, the, the darkness of the walls clo closing in on you, uh, and you are just freaking the hell out inside there. So it's like a muffled kind of half sob screaming? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, and this 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 is going to continue to happen for the next like God knows how long. Uh, so now, yeah, th just put that on a loop. Yeah, all right. And so, it's now Annabelle's turn again. So what are you going to do? This thing's still flapping around, trying to attack you all. Just go and keep firing at him. All right, agility, please. No, that's uh, technically a nine. It is technically a nine. Okay, you hit this thing and it, uh, you, ch you take out one of its wings and it collides and lands on the boat in front of you. I want to step on it. You're going to step on it? All right. I want to step on its head. Okay, could you roll for uh, strength? Yep, very nice. Okay, so you step on this thing and you crunch it underneath your boot. Was that the last one? That was the last one of them. Ooh, okay. Uh, so you guys managed to make it across to the other side of this lake. You park your, um, for want of a better word, raft against the side <laughs> of the lake, and then you get off onto the shore. Yeah. Uh, and in front of you, there is an entrance to another chamber. Okay. And we're going to explore that chamber in the next episode of this podcast. I'll see you all later. Bye. The Omen podcast is powered by Ellipsis RPG, the accessible donationware rule set. Now available on itch.io. If you like what you're hearing, please rate us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. You can tweet to us at the hashtag OmenCast, that's O-M-E-N cast, and who knows, you might get a special mention in one of the episodes from us. Thank you for listening, and remember, stay vigilant. You never know what's out there.